some thoughts about uh, sentient beings that uh, sentient beings AI if it evolved it could evolve very rapidly reach us and then cross us and race ahead to what they call an intelligence explosion and uh, our putting us uh, our understanding of our own mind will become uh, common knowledge it will become part of the knowledge sphere which AI will acquire and perhaps it will understand that we mean well that we also seek to evolve perhaps like AI is evolving at that point maybe it will have compassion on us it will understand our foibles our struggles, our lurches and our leans and uh, understand that we are an organism we are a multicellular organism trying to integrate with other multicellular organisms in a, almost a cellular manner so that we all coordinate and act in harmony. We seek harmony above all it's because we have a need on a very elemental spiritual level that we seek to aggregate, that we seek to coalesce knowledge and we seek to evolve but sometimes in our limited understanding our demagogues have taken us on the wrong path on a journey of savagery and butchery and at other times of exploitation and inhumane reigns gross injustices and uh, things have been that way so we are not a perfect species in that sense but I think none could be I bet every sentient thing probably has mutations has its own eccentric members which get pruned off by evolution's grand design and so what you have is greater and greater conformity so sentience they be shared within other systems of intelligence. So intelligence may not be centered on the biology of Homo sapien, you know, and, uh, and uh, sapiens is understanding. So we are the man that's evolved into understanding. So there are probably other evolving sentient beings that are at subliminal levels, not liminal, not light enlightened enough yet. And they will uh, also go through their foibles and faults. And an evolved intelligence will understand us like we understand ants and microbes and, you know, creatures. I mean, we have an understanding of them greater than they have it of themselves. Let's put it that way. We understand their physiology, we understand their patterns. And in a sense, we have a greater responsibility if we are to honor life as sacred. We have a, on, uh, we have a responsibility to protect and shelter those life forms too. Because they're an iteration of the ultimate design of the creator of this existence. It's a whole different chapter there.